Lionfish. Pterois, often known as lionfish, have 12 distinct species, each distinguished by spiky fin rays and bright alert coloring. Two exotic lionfish species that were once found only in the Indo-Pacific are now wrecking major damage in the Mediterranean and Caribbean. The lionfish prey on a variety of crustaceans, mollusks, and tiny fishes and have no known predators. The lionfish landed on our list of the deadliest sea creatures because of its venomous spines which deter most predators. Although lionfish are not aggressive, they do have a toxic neuromuscular toxin in their spines that is akin to the venom of a cobra. A lionfish sting causes pain, swelling, and significant damage at the site of the wound. Although they usually only last a few hours, in extreme cases, these symptoms might continue for two to four weeks. Multiple spine stings increase the likelihood of infection and cause additional symptoms like perspiration, heart rate irregularities, and stomach pain. Although lionfish stings are not necessarily fatal, studies have shown that people who have experienced multiple stings may start to show signs of anaphylactic shock following recurrent envenomation. Barracuda the predatory fish known as barracudas are notorious for their aggressiveness. These saltwater fish live in tropical and subtropical climates. They inhabit the areas around coral reefs and the ocean surface. They feature a recognizable snout form and fanged wings in their jaws. Because of their pointed skulls, they have an underbite. When pursuing prey, barracudas can swim at a speed of up to 27 miles per hour. Barracudas may mistake snorkelers for food and attack humans. These attacks, however, are rare. Their bite will cause pain and may be very severe. Barracuda fish also have been seen jumping to the point where they emerge from the water to chase people in sailboats. Sea snakes. There are over 50 distinct species of sea snakes, all of which are very lethal. Although sea snakes are typically timid rather than aggressive, they will strike if alarmed or provoked. The most poisonous is the Dubois sea snake, which carries a neurotoxin that impairs breathing and paralyzes the lung and skeletal muscles. Because sea snakes have much smaller teeth than their terrestrial counterparts, a person can get bitten without even realizing it. They probably won't realize how serious the situation is until the first symptoms appear. Even though a sea snake bite may appear to be a tiny and significant puncture, the victim will begin to experience the different signs and symptoms three hours after the bite. Symptoms which may include muscular pain, immobility, sore joints, blurred vision, difficulty speaking and swallowing, excessive salivation and vomiting. A sea snake bite has the potential to be lethal, although the overall death rate is about 3%. The sooner a victim receives expert medical care and an anti-venom, the better their chances of survival. Pufferfish Pufferfish can be found in warm oceans such as the Atlantic, Pacific, and India. There are different animal species in both freshwater and saltwater. The pufferfish is so dangerous that it is considered the second most deadly animal on Earth. There are over a hundred different types of these fish known to humans, and more than 70% of pufferfish are dangerous, so it is best to avoid them. To call this monster dangerous would be an understatement. Their poison contains tetrodotoxin, which can be more dangerous than cyanide in some cases. This poisonous substance was found in the eyes, liver, kidneys, ovaries, and spikes of the pufferfish. There is no mechanism to neutralize pufferfish toxins, which can kill an adult human in a matter of seconds. When they detect danger, they assume and develop the shape of a ball. Even though pufferfish meat is said to be poisonous, it is considered safe to consume in some parts of Japan, Korea, and China. In any case, it is cooked and dished by highly trained connoisseur professionals. Stonefish Stonefish can be found in coral reef areas, shallow tropical waters, and the Pacific and Indian Oceans. The reef stonefish is one of the most venomous fish on the Earth. Reef stonefish pose a threat for three reasons. They have 13 sharp, needle-like spines arranged on their back, making them highly lethal. They perfectly blend into their surroundings until someone walks on them. Its dangerous chemical is currently potentially causing damage to shorelines for up to 24 hours. They pose a significant hazard when they're out of water. Its toxicity is lethal and extremely difficult to treat. The stings of these fish can be felt throughout the body and can be fatal to the kidneys. Surprisingly, the setback will continue to hurt long after recovery. In severe cases, the body parts damaged by a stonefish sting have been requested to be amputated. 
the sting of a reef stonefish can impair breathing and lead to cardiac arrest. The stonefish neutralizer is the second most commonly controlled in Australia. Box jellyfish. Despite being so small that it is barely visible to the human eye, the sea wasp or tiny box jellyfish can kill an adult in less than three minutes. Despite being only one cubic centimeter in size, the Irukandji jellyfish is as dangerous as its 10-foot-long cousin, Chironex flaccari. According to Chironex flaccari research, Chironex flaccari's venoms are bioactive protein combinations that target different parts of the human body. One component of the protein combination induces intense muscle spasms that cause the heart to contract permanently, while another causes pain and targets red blood cells. Because of these multiple attacks, box jellyfish stings are challenging to treat. Because the heart is permanently contracted, cardiopulmonary resuscitation and defibrillators will be ineffective. In April of last year, a 17-year-old was killed after being attacked by a Chironex flaccari box jellyfish near Australia's northernmost coast. A nine-year-old Israeli boy died after being stung off the Thai island of Koh Phangan a few months later. The regulatory response to these incidents only emphasizes how dangerous these jellyfish are. The Stingray The Stingray, also known as the Pussycat of the Sea, has a cute appearance. However, since Steve Irwin's sad death in 2006, everyone has recognized how dangerous they can be. The Stingray's tail bar punctured his heart, killing the Australian conservationist and media personality. Stingray venom causes excruciating pain and inflammation where the puncture is made, but it rarely results in death. Every year, around 1,500 stingray-related attacks occur in the United States, most triggered by an unintended stepping on a submerged ray. Stingrays use sand to disguise themselves from potential predators. As a result, it is frequently challenging to detect them. If a stingray's tail barb entraps itself in the foot, it will cause a puncture. The venom is contained in the sheath that surrounds the stinger. If this venom enters the body, it can damage muscles and tendons, causing excruciating pain. Although the pain is excruciating, most victims seek medical attention. Nevertheless, depending on the severity of the injury, some stingray injuries can be treated at home. The Cone Snail One of the last things you will expect to hear is that a snail is the world's deadliest creature. But beneath their colorful shells, these seemingly harmless invertebrates hide a deadly secret. Cone snails are found in tropical waters around coral reefs, such as the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Cone snails are a highly venomous genus of sea snails. Over 500 different species can be found all over the planet. Their shells are very often beautiful and have peculiar and detailed designs. Despite their lovely appearance, they can cause damage and should never be held. An unfortunate human attraction, yet one that deters predators. Cone snails use a sharp proboscis in their mouths to sting their victims to death. Then, using the proboscis's hooked barb, it draws its prey back towards it. When the fish is completely paralyzed, the cone snail opens its mouth and devours it whole. They contain very toxic venom that can kill humans. It is worth noting that the cone snail's toxin is being studied for potential medical purposes. Flower urchin Although it appears to be a harmless predator, the flower urchin possesses a lethal toxin within its tentacles that gives it this appearance. When disturbed or rubbed, its globiferous pedicolari, or tentacles, can produce a hazardous chemical. The bigger the size of the tentacle, the more potent the venom is. The sting of any flower urchin is painful and crippling. In 1930, the marine biologist Tsutomo Fujiwara got stung on his finger by seven or eight flower urchin pedicolari. He instantly felt tremendous agony on his finger, and soon after, he began to feel lightheaded and had breathing problems. He could not talk because his tongue and lips became paralyzed. These symptoms began to fade after about 15 minutes. One hour later, all but the facial paralysis had faded off. The flower urchin will kill a human, but not because of its toxin. Instead, accidental drowning may occur due to incapacitating discomfort, muscular immobility, difficulties breathing, numbness, and bewilderment caused by the flower urchin's toxin. Moray eel The pulsated moray has a yellow snout with bright, undulating patterned lines and specks on a dark green background. The elongated fish can grow to be three to five feet long. It has a snake-like body and wide, protruding jaws. 
These horrific creatures resemble death. They are, by the way, fish that can grow to be up to eight feet long. According to NOAA, an eel's razor-sharp teeth and strong, locking jaws will result in ragged injuries that may become infected due to infection in their mouths. The good news is that moray eels will usually let you go if they bite you accidentally or unknowingly, especially when seeking food. They frequently spend the day lurking in cracks and holes and then hunt at night. They will devour any fish or other animal they can capture. The Blue Ringed Octopus Even though it is no bigger than a golf ball, this species of octopus possesses enough venom to kill more than 20 humans. The pufferfish does not actively use its venom, but the Blue Ringed Octopus gathers it and uses it to immobilize its prey. Ocean microbes can be found in the salivary glands of several octopus species. There, the microbes produce tetrodotoxin. After breaking through the shell with its beak, the octopus spits venom into its prey. This almost instantly immobilizes its prey. A blue ringed octopus's salivary detrotoxin will paralyze a human if it bites them, much as it paralyzes its sea prey. Once this tetrodotoxin enters the human bloodstream, the person will experience tingling or numbness at the bite site. Then the smooth muscles become floppy, making it difficult to breathe and swallow. Although this toxin does not directly affect the heart, it will target your diaphragm and prevent breathing. And that brings us to the end of this video. Have you had any experiences with any of these sea creatures? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.